Okay guys, uh, Mr. Bell, I'm back here. I'm going to attempt at this point to show you a couple more things in Blender. And uh, basically I'm just going to work on a roof structure, the, the A-frame idea. Okay, so there's a bunch of drawings here. You, you can see they're all somewhat similar. There's a slanted which, uh, angle. Looks like an A-frame. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just go from there. All right, let's get going here. Okay, a couple things here. I'm just going to press uh, my, let's see, are we in? Uh, we're in Blender now. I'm using my middle scroll to orbit around. I'm using shift to move uh, the pan. Okay, so I got this, this uh, cube here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press scale just to kind of play uh, with the size. Now notice that if I want to go in the, in the direction of Y, I need to tell a Blender Y and then, see? go that way. So if I'm going to press S again, I'm going to scale on the X this time, just like that. Okay, and then let's say scale again, and this time we'll go up on the Z direction, Z direction, there it is. Okay, so this will be the base of my um, shack, chalet, cabin, you name it. Okay, done. Next thing, it's right here. So it's cube, I'm going to call it cabin base. All right, cabin base, done. All right, so now I'm going to duplicate this. Um, I think it's Shift D, yep, and then look. See, now all I have to do is press Z, and it will be duplicated on the axes, okay? I don't have to go grab or move. It wants to kind of move, but I'm suggesting it constrains to Z, okay? So I'll just do something like that. Good to go. Now I'm going to press Scale, and I want to come out on the X, which is red, and I'll just go something like this. See, I want to just, I need an overhang. So I need an overhang in the Y direction, so S. And then Y, see, and so now I'm gonna just hold uh, my middle scroll button and orbit around. That looks somewhat okay, good enough. Okay, so here's some cool stuff to do here. So uh, <laughs> this is called Cabin Base One. I'm gonna rename it as Roof. Okay, there it is, done. Okay, so uh, holding Shift and middle scroll. I should have screencast going here next time. Okay, so I have this cube and I wanna, I wanna taper in the edges, okay? So I'm going to first press tab to get into uh, edit mode. So you see you have one, two, and three. I need to go to face, okay? Now if I want to scale this in just by pressing S, this is going to, going to be like a guess in the wild, okay? This is not what I want to do. So I'm just going to go uh, uh, right click to, uh, to not commit to the act. So watch this now. Even though I have face selected, I can do this with edges as well. So I'm just going to hit S for scale, and then I'm going to press X so that way I only, I only taper it in this way. Like I only bring it in like that. See? Okay. I come in and then there. Done. All right. So that way it becomes easier. Now I'm going to go command Z. This time I'm going to select the edges. Okay. So watch. I'm going to click here. One. Hold shift. Two. Press S for scale. And again, what direction? In the red, which is X. And then I'll just come in like this. See? You don't want to overshoot it. And just take your time and boom. Right there. Okay. So that works for me. All right, so next thing. Let's get out of this. So I need to get out tab. Okay, so now I'm just in uh, object mode here. So that works. Now, if you guys want to stylize this, okay, so meaning like if you want to curve it, do some cool stuff, I need to go back into the edit mode, okay? So tab and let's get into, you see this guy here? This is, this is really cool. So I'm just gonna click a bunch of times here. So it's just doing some beautiful cuts for me, okay? So I'm just going to take my time right now, and I'm just going to say, that's enough. I go back out here, and now I'm going to come in here with vertex selected. See right here, the first one? So if I come in here and press move, watch this. I can now stylize this like that. Select this one, and I have move selected, and you can see I'm panning around or orbiting around, and here you are seeing things stylized. Okay, so I'll take these guys and I'll bring them down even more, something like that. So the more curvilinear you want, you need more cuts. Okay, and now if you want to go stylized this way, you can do the same thing. Okay, so we need to get out of this. Well, we're, we're here, we're fine, it's right here. Okay, so we'll just go like that, boom, boom. Right there, so beautiful cuts, right? You can see that. Okay, now um, let's, 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 I haven't shown you guys this. So let's say I'm gonna get out of this first off because it's gonna cut forever. So I'm in edge mode. I believe if I hold Alt and click here, the entire loop is selected. Isn't that cool? 
Very nice. So now if I press S for scale and press X, so watch, see here? We can do whatever you want. So you stylize it. So again, holding uh, Alt down here, which is optioned on the Mac, boom, press S and then X. And you can do whatever you want. You want to make it more irregular. This is what we do, right? So let's do another Alt selection down here. The entire loop is selected. That works in vertex as well, by the way. And S and then X. Okay, so I'm just going to come out a bit and just do something nonsense, some silly stuff like that right here. And then why not, why not out here, right? So Alt, and then we're in edge mode, as you can see here, edge. And just left click here. Oh, and if it doesn't select, okay, so we just we just do it the old-fashioned way. We just we just continue. I'm gonna go shift, uh, shift and alt. So I want to continue selecting here. Good. Something happened earlier. So let's spin around. Oh, missed this one. So shift to continue selecting an option. Boom. Oh, wrong one, dude. It's here. Wait a minute. Let's let's go into perspective mode here. Let's see what's going on. Am I selecting anything else? No. Okay. So let's try this out, S and then X like before, and then we'll just go and then have fun with that, all right? So you made it a little more stylized per se. Fair? Okay. So I'm keeping these, these lessons nice and short, and here it is, nice, okay? Zoom in, zoom out. If I have something selected, press period, boom, you zoom in. That's like framing in Maya, okay? So I need to get out of this tab, all right? And, um, I think this is good. This is just making a roof. It's been six minutes already. Okay, Valiant out. This is how to make an A-frame roof. All right, and I'll say bye-bye for now.